I'm sorry, that is still creepy. What's good, y'all? I'm RBM. Welcome back to some more Pokemon XD Game of Darkness. Last time, we beat Gorgon and ended. <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> ended the production of Shadow Pokemon. Unfortunately, Cypher is still around, but that is to be expected. Today, however, I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but I'm sure we're going to do something. Actually, I think we should check our PDA. Let's check the, uh, let's check our emails real quick. Oh! Oh, that's right! Justin got the, uh, pre-gym back in ops. Acri wants to interview us. And an invitation to Real Game Coliseum. So you know what? I think we should go, uh... I think we should go take care of those today. Before I do that, let me check my minds real quick. We got everyone that... Let's see, we got Leslie, Elk, John, Bully, and Dumbo at 34, Jolteon at 36, Hellhound, Hellhound at 35. Actually, wait a minute. Let's go to Age real quick. I want to see if that name raider is uh, still at Agate. Cause I remember there, I remember him being there at Coliseum. I don't know if he's there in XD though. Let's find out. I don't think he's gonna be this way. Is you in here? Oh, we got a guy in a, in a lava fed, though. Yes, yes, I did see the SS Libra story on the news. When it was first shown, I thought it was a whale. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, I didn't want to go back in. There's the Pokemon. Uh, is the name reader over here? Nope, just a chicken or can buskin. Didn't want to talk to us. Let's... Oh my god, please, I do not want to go back in there. Where's the name reader in this game? That's probably Egan's house, that's probably not it. Is it you? No, you're the daycare. What's up here? My tailor brings me berries. Oh, got Chesto Berry. Okay. I'll take that. Too bad we don't have any Resto Chestos on our team, but eh, I'll take what I can get. I just want to know where the name reader is. You there. You know where the name reader is. Oh, okay. Wait, is he in the Pokemon Center? Don't care. Oh, hey, Mary's not here either. It, oh, I was not expecting a battle. Alright, I'll be back when I find the name raider. Okay, so I cannot find the name raider, so I'm just gonna forget it and move on. Now, I also did get a hint from somebody that I talked to, and uh, turns out Bonsai is still out there, and I have a feeling he's gonna show up this rock focus spot over here. So I'm gonna see how many treats I how many pokes I have. Well I'll put ten out here and see what happens. 
Anyway. Let's go to Fanny. And take care of this pre-jib, shall we? Oh, off screen by the way. We got Leslie to 35. And I taught Dumbo Double Edge. Yeah. Alright, bully. Come on out here. Get you some levels as well. Yeah. Alright, Jesse, I'm here to take on this Poke Gym. What's up, bud? Hi, Michael. You remember my email, right? Pre Gym is finally going to reopen. Michael, I'd love to have a battle with you. Well, you accept my challenge. Hell yeah! At my at pre gym, four trainers and I await all challenge. Oh my god, we have to take on four challengers. All right, let's do it. Step on up. Try to entertain you. All right. Lenny Bunce. It, they're only level 21? Oh, this is gonna be lame. Alright, well, guess we're gonna speed up these battles. If they're so low level, it's not really gonna matter much anyway. Oh, I'm almost level 35. Oh, hi, Blossom. Listen to this. Bye bye, Spoink. And Elm John's level 35. Nice. Alright, now you're done. Challenger number two, come on down. Let's see what you have. I'm gonna speed this up until we get to Justy. Oh my god, you have Ferg and Sun Flora. Hmm. We're gonna get kill bitches, psychic for your bitches. Now bullies level 35. My new. Oh, that was a crit too. I said four. Easy easy, and then I'll squeezy. Alright, challenger number two is down. Bring challenger number three. I'm severely overleveled for this. I say that then watch that. I say that, but then watch Jesse have like level 40 Pokemon for fun. Yeah, man. This is how this is gonna go. Alright. Nope. No double team. And Yanma goes down without much of a fight. Alright, bring on challenger number four. It's an old lady! Oh, less than one minor. Bye bye minor. 
Ow, oh, that's an apple. That is a whole absolute. Oh, how did you miss? Alright. Got these games. Let's bustle up out of here. Yeah, good job, Paul. Good job. Yeah. All right, Jesse, your four challengers are down. Bring your ass here and fight us like men. Oh, great job. The hero Fennec gets it done. I don't see any blind spots in your battle style. I finally get the chance to face you. Bring that ass here, boy. Great, let's do it. All right, here we go. Got Justy. See what you gonna have. Acnea and Sand Slash. All right. Okay. I think the uh, best thing we can do right now is water gun this Sand Slash and Elm John. Psychic to Cacnea. Yeah. And Cacnea really went down without a fight. Oh, Gligar. Young Alucard himself. Oh, that didn't go. Oh, so this is what we're doing. Okay. This is what we're doing. Good thing Elton John, don't miss! <laughs> Ooh, Bully is level 36. And... Oh! Nose pass. Mr. Big News. Oh, Polly, why'd you miss? Let's see what this nose pass does. Goes down without a fight. Gusty is just too easy. This is light work, y'all. Light work! Yay, get that glad guy out of here. <laughs> and I'm John's level 36. Nice. No! How would I lose? <laughs> That's literally what he looks like, just kneeling down. I knew it, you're tough. I'm not happy about losing, but I'm delighted about battling. <laughs> it's been five years since I lost like this. Good foreshadowing. Well, not foreshadowing, but... Anyway, I'd like you to have these as something to remember our battle by. Let's see, we get a Lumberry and TM32. Okay, I like Lumberries. Alrighty. Now that we've taken care of that. Let's go heal up at the Pokemon Center. And I believe it said that we had to go for an interview with Gation Port. Let's heal up the mons real quick. Okay. Before we do that, though, we're gonna get Dumbo and Leslie back in the lead. Alright. 
Now that Justy is out of the way, let's head to Gastion Port. Okay. Hmm. Are you inside here? No, you're not. But who might you be? Interesting. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? What is that? Is that Robo Kyogre? Yo! That's badass. I like that. Really cool. Oh, nice. So I guess you're the person I wants to interview me. Michael, you read my email. I've been waiting for this. After seeing you on TV, you've been on my mind, Michael. Rent's free. I've come to realize that there's nothing to do but write a novel starring you. So, please let me interview you. Let's begin right away. Two hours later. I see. Michael, it was you that saved Professor Crane, the director of Pokemon HQ Lab? It was. You were on TV for the Fennec News Story. But you've been on TV before. Mayhaps. Oh goodness. Yes, as Theber was attacked because Cypher wanted to get at the Pokemon on board? You bet your sweet ass they did. That's beyond incredible. Michael, you must, re must be an amazingly talented trainer despite your appearance. Oh, this interview has me has me to the edge of my seat. <laughs> your tale is so thrilling, harrowing, and exhilarating. I owe you a huge thanks for this interview. Thank you so much. Oh, we get the amulet coin. Okay. I'll take it. All right, we get getting some mesh money. Hell yeah, I'll gladly take that. Sure. Hmm, where else can we go though? Right, we should probably try to find that Shadow Dragonite, shouldn't we? Hey you. Gatsian Port Sea Breeze feels great, as it always does. Oh, you want a battle? We're gonna speed this up, I don't think it's, it's gonna be anything important. Swablu, be bass! That all you got? That's really all you got. Alright, we'll just do this quick. Oh, I didn't know it did that. That's cool. Okay, that's enough of that battle. I already am a decent trainer, don't you see? Alright. Hmm. I guess I should go see what Purr is up to. What's going on with y'all? Yo, Mike, big news, dude, real big news. That Robo Kai yogurt we've been telling you about is finally done. <gasps> Wait, so we can use it? Once Grandpa got down to it and got serious with it, he puts he put together some kind of amazing man. Come over here, you gotta listen to Gramps. Oh, Mr. McCann, what you got going on here, fam, Mola? 
Like Per said, we finally assembled the Robo Kai Yoga. It's truly a work of marvel. Hmm? What's wrong? What's the matter, chat? Well, I'll be. Cypher's headquarters is on City Dark Isle, and you intend to go there? City Dark Isle. <laughs> City Dark Isle, huh? With some place like that, it's no wonder nobody's found Cypher's base. The currents around the Isle are swift, and the weather's always storming out there, man. That place can't be approached by sea or by air. Her? That was certainly true before, but now, however. Yo, I get it, Gramps. The Robo Kyogre, right? Precisely, Per. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the Isle. Alright, we must prepare to launch the Robo Kyogre for Michael. Come, Per. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. We just made a discovery. We're gonna be able to use that Robo Kyogre to get to Citadark Isle? Yo. But I guess we're gonna have to get there in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more and you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because it helps out a ton. And turn on notifications so that you get notified about my latest videos. Next time, I guess we're headed to Citadark Isle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.